Welcome to the long-awaited 17th video on Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based MORG. This is Halls of Valhalla. What's kind of happened is, is uh, I recorded video 17 and 18 about a month ago, and it's I just got caught up with a lot of the things and never posted it, and they've come corrupt somehow. So I'm having to redo them, and, and in a month's time I've lost where I was at, so I had to kind of go back and, and figure out where I left off. and. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna kind of blend 17 and 18 together, and I may pull things that were in eight that was in 18 now in 17, and vice versa. But regardless, it's still gonna work out. And I may accidentally repeat some things. I may not go over some things, but I think we're all at the level that we can figure it out. And if you don't, just go to the forums, and we'll we'll figure it out together. But um, these are gonna, gonna be kind of long because here's what we're adding. We're actually gonna add our locations now. We're gonna add our first location, which is the Crocany where we started. We're gonna add weapon shop, armor shop, and we're gonna add level up. We're going to start with level up. Uh, looks like I actually got a problem here with the way this is lining up. We'll fix that together here in a minute. The first thing I want to do is level up. Uh, if you notice, when you hit level up, and the way it works is once you once you reach a certain amount of experience, it this link will pop up and you'll get your, your level up. So once you hit level up, it brings you to the page level up, and it tells you what you, what you can get. Right now my attack is 7, my defense is 5. Let's bring up the defense. Let's click on defense says you've successfully leveled up. If you go back, you can now see my defense is now 6 permanently, and that level up link is gone. So how I did that oops, is... Let's go to... First, let's go to Stat Panel. And in Stat Panel, I put a... made a new variable, experience needed, equals your player's level times 100 uh, times the player level and what I've done is, is if you just had player level times 100 then at level 1 you'd have to get 100 experience level 2 you'd have to get 200 level 3 there would be no real progression there would be the same you know easy 100 experience you'd be getting every time um, that's not really the method we want to use what we want to do is something that continually gets harder and harder so what I've done is is if you do level times 100 times or level again at first level it'll be 1 times 100 times 1 which is 100 but level 2 would be 2 times 100 times 2 again would be 400 so now it's increased level 3 would be 3 times 100 which would be 300 times 3 again would be 900 and 4 would be uh, 1200 and it would continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, or 1600 I'm sorry and it would just uh, constantly get a bigger gap and the gap would get bigger that way when you get higher level it's a lot harder to to level up unless you're killing big creatures or something and so if your player experience is greater than the experience needed then go to level up page and if we go to the level up page we got our standard stuff up here uh, where we're gonna start at though is we, we don't want people cheating. We don't want people just going to level up.php and being able to level up. So we want to do that same thing again. Experience needed equals the same thing. If if the experience, if your experience is greater than experience needed, then go ahead and give them the menu. But if not, make sure we do. You do not have an experience to level up this time. That keeps them from cheating. The next thing we do is we give them a menu. And we give them the options if they want to do their attack, their hit points, their spell points. And then the variable here, stat equals attack. What I meant by this right here is that there is a way to cheat if you use the whole if you give them the whole whole uh, variable as the name um, it's just safer not to put it in there and just put the the ATT in the, in the defense um, and it's just easier to do it that way it's a lot safer and we could have actually did our whole level up thing on one page but because of the because I wanted to show a couple new things I'm gonna do it in two pages so once they click this it goes to level up two and then the stat is in the in the actual variable we start level up two about the same way, and we also here we also want to do the same thing. As long as they as long as they can make the level, as long as their experience is greater than what it is um, is greater than needed, then give them the option. Otherwise, you do not have enough experience. We don't want them cheating. But here's what I wanted to add new. Uh, first, we get the stat, but now we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a variable with the stat. Then we're gonna do a switch. All a switch in a case does is it, it lays out all, instead of having to put if stat equals this, if stat equals this, blah, 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 and continuing to have to do that, this makes the coding a lot shorter. So what I did was, if switch equals ATT, then stat name equals attack, mod equals one. If, and then we put a break. If you don't put a break, it'll continue to go through this, and it'll, it'll totally, it won't realize there's a break between each case. You always got to make sure to put a break between each one. Um, then if case equals 
defense, DEF, then the stat name equals defense, mod equals one, and so forth all the way down. The reason why I put the mod is because we don't want to give them just one hit point or one spell point. We want to make sure to uh, to give them the full amount. To give them at least five, that way it's more than one. But we don't want to also give them five for for this, so that's why I kind of did it. But anyway, once once it once it goes through and it finds it, because what it's going to do is the case is the if the case is HP, it's going to go to break. It's going to go on past this. It's not even going to worry about the rest of this. Uh, we're going to do an update player set stat name, and if you notice these little symbols right here, they are actually different. They are actually right below your escape key. Escape key, sorry. If you hit the um, the shift in that, whoops, actually not shift, just it by itself, that's going to give you that that special character, and that's going to make enable you to actually be able to name the um, to name the field with without it actually being a variable in here. And I know that that kind of sounds weird and it's hard to explain, but uh, PHP can be finicky about the apostrophe and a lot of times you'll have to use this other other character in its place so anyway we want player set stat name which let's say it was defense which it was so set defense equals defense plus the mod whatever the mod was which would have been one if it was hit points then it would have did max HP equals max HP plus the, the five and then level equals level plus one where name equals player make sure you level them up so that you actually make bring the level up otherwise they're going to continue to do the same thing over and over again Let's see. Next thing, let's do, and that that's basically done with leveling. That's all leveling is. It's real simple. But let's go ahead and fix the reason. Why I have a little bit of time, let's go ahead and fix why this is out of place. So let's open up style, and that is our left panel div. So maybe let's try let's try bringing this up. I want to refresh. There we go. That's all it was. So now we're back in order. So now on video 18, we're going to go into weapon shop and armor shop.